everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is my most highly requested video I think I've ever gotten before. And I was kind of hesitant on wanting to do it only because I thought that I was gonna have to have like multiple camera angles and I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do it, but I realized that I just need to just show you guys what I do and even if it's not like the best high quality production video I mean not that any of my videos are um, but just to give you guys a, an idea of what I do when it comes to taking my product photos and editing so editing is everything lighting is everything and we're gonna go into kind of some basics before we get started so number one is lighting this is the most important thing when it comes to taking your product photos so what I use for lighting are studio lights um, so these are are uh, photography lights, studio lights, they're called multiple different things. They're these huge square lights um, that are a white light, so it kind of emulates um, daylight. So it has, uh, it doesn't have that like yellow cast or anything. So if you're trying to take your photos um, under uh, yellow lighting or you know in your kitchen or your bathroom or something, the lighting can look off. So you wanna make sure that you're getting as close to natural light as possible. If you don't have anything to emulate that, then I would recommend going outside to take your photos because you really want um, a very bright photo um, to work with because if you don't, if it's very dim, and dull editing can only do so much so um, what I would recommend is if you guys do go outside and take your photos don't take them in direct sunlight so you don't want to be taking your photos when the Sun is hitting them um, there's a couple different ways that you can do this take them in the shade you would think that oh well the shade like why would you want to take photos in the shade take them in the shade because it looks so much better it doesn't have that bright um, cast to it it doesn't have a shadow behind it unless that's the look you're going for um, but it just looks a lot better in photos when you're taking it in the shade than taking it in direct sunlight and if you guys want to have the best quality photos take it about a half an hour to an hour before sundown that creates the best ambiance with your photos it has the best lighting possible so um, these are my tips just kind of getting started and now we're gonna jump into the video about how I stylize my products to take photos now I have to say I am not the best when it comes to stylizing photos. I like a lot of white space, so I don't like a lot of stuff in my photos when I take them. I have a few different items that I use as props in my photos, um, just to add something um, you know, extra to it, just to add something different. But there are so many different things that you guys can do. You can go to craft stores, you can look online, you can get a bunch of different stuff that you can add to your photos. And um, I highly recommend to just look around online and see what kind of props you can use for your product photography so it's not just the candle by itself so you want to have a little bit extra to it but for me personally I like um, a lot of white space in my photos and I will also be showing you guys how I edit my photos and how I get the background so white so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into that video all right, so this is the setup that I have right now where I take my photos. So these up here are my studio lights. These are the photography lights. And um, I will be linking in the description box below a link where you can find where to purchase these on Amazon. I don't think it's gonna be the exact same brand, but it's going to be essentially the same thing. Um, and so this is what I use. And I, I really wanna show you guys this just to show you that you don't need really high quality um, props or backgrounds or anything. These are two poster boards. Yes, that's a canvas, but it's essentially a poster board. It's still wrapped in plastic. And um, this is a dirty poster board with some markings on it. So I use this as of right now to take all of my photos. And this right here is a wood slab that I got at Michael's Craft Store. And um, it's a real piece of wood, but I use it as a prop. I also use all of these as props. So these are all greeneries, um, eucalyptus, little flowers and all that. And as of right now, those are the only props that I'm using. So you can get so many other props you can get wood crates or um, lights or just there's so many different things that people use as props and you also don't need to have a pure white background there's all other different kinds of backgrounds that you could use this is just me showing you guys exactly what i do for my photos and how i try to stylize them um, just kind of a little um, glimpse into what i do to stylize them but the main focus of this video is going to be me showing you how i edit them so let's go ahead and get on into the video 
So we're gonna be using this candle today as uh, an example when I show you guys what I do for product photography. And um, this is gonna be a scent that I'm going to be putting up either later today or tomorrow. And the first thing that I wanna show you guys is because I use wood tops for my candles, I actually don't like the way it looks, how it's clashing with the wood background. So what I would do in this instance is actually remove the lid and it looks so much better to me. You can see um, the wicks and depending on the angle that you're giving. So if you're, if I'm trying to get that angle, I would probably do something like this. But when I'm doing that, I'm just kind of moving, moving all around and seeing what angles I like. Sometimes I'll put, I'll put the greenery or the flowers in the background and see if I like that, how it's sitting right there. And then I'll just keep adjusting to see if there's something that I like better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna flip the camera to a view where you can actually see when I'm taking the photos. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do. So I've opened up the camera feature on my phone and you guys are just seeing exactly what I'm seeing right now. So this is just the regular photo area. So there's a couple different options that I use. If I'm just using it for Instagram, I'll usually go over to square because it'll be the, the correct size. And then I'll be able to take the photo from there and edit it. But I'm just trying to move around and take different angles. See, I don't like that angle. Um, and just kind of see what I like. So the main thing is just making sure that we're having all the lighting that we need and um, the correct angle that we like. So that's all that I really worry about during this first step. Another option is actually doing portrait mode. So this will blur the background and you can choose the subject that you want and then have a lot of the background blurred. The only thing that I don't like about that is that sometimes it doesn't have a good focus on the actual image. It has a little bit of a hard time with doing that. But if you kind of take your time and really focus to get the focus on that image, you can have a pretty good photo. So that one, it did blur the background quite a bit. Um, that one I could see it being a pretty good photo to edit. So I ended up taking quite a few photos when I'm actually doing this whole process and it's kind of a trial and error. So you're adjusting and then you're taking photos and then you're adjusting more and then you're taking more photos. And I obviously wouldn't just be taking photos of the same thing. I would be moving things around. So moving that right there, seeing if I like that better than I like the other one and then I would maybe put it right here on the side. I've been doing this quite a bit in my photos. Sorry, it's kind of hard to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. And another hard thing is that if you have a hard surface like that, then it does have kind of, it does start to roll. So that's something that you have to worry about if you guys are using a hard surface. So with this, I'm actually gonna just take it to square and take a photo, but I don't like the way that that looks when it's bunched up like that. So we're gonna instead maybe put the flowers right there. This is how I took one of my photos in my Instagram post. So we're gonna do that. Maybe change it up. So it's all just kind of adjusting. So everything that you do, it's just adjusting, adjusting, adding more things, seeing if you like it. If you don't like it, changing it. Like I don't like that one. I don't like how they're facing the opposite direction. I keep taking a lot of photos and going through and trying to figure out what you like, what you don't like. So now I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what you want to see and that is how I edit these photos. So the app that I use to edit all of my photos, I use a couple different photos. I use Facetune, Snapseed, as well as Lightroom. So there's different reasons on why I use the different apps when I'm editing. Mainly I use Snapseed only, so we're gonna open up Snapseed and choose one of these photos. So I'm going to choose, which one should I choose? I'll choose this one because it should be pretty fun to edit. So what we're looking at right here and what I try to do in all of my photos is I don't like that you can see the shine right there from the um, from the studio lights. So what I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of that, and this is honestly only if you guys have a white sticker. 
this will completely vary on the vessels that you guys have, the label, the label stickers, the way that everything looks on your candle. All of this will be slightly different. So if you try to do the exact same editing that I'm doing right now, it might not work for you. So this is just what I do with my black vessels and my white stickers. So that is what I'm showing you guys right now. So what I do is I, I hit selective. And what this does is at the top right there, you can see brightness. So when you go to the left, it's gonna darken it. When you go to the right, it's gonna brighten it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to brighten all of this, all of this right there. So as you can see, there's still a little bit on the right hand side that's not really brightened up. So what I'm going to do now is go to brush and at the bottom, I'm gonna click exposure and there's different levels of exposure that you can do. So I'll kind of show you guys right now. So that's three, I just did a swipe right there. That's seven and then one is taking it completely white. So what we're gonna do is sometimes I'll start with seven just to try to brighten it up a little bit because sometimes that's all it really needs. So I'm just going to brush this on and as you can see, that made that a lot brighter. Something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the brush and I'm going to actually do a minus 0.3 exposure and I'm going to make these a little bit darker, so the writing. Because in all of my photos, I like for you to actually be able to read what the candle is. I don't like when things are too overly exposed that you can't read it. So I'm going to check that off. Another thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm gonna go back to that area real fast. And I'm gonna do minus three, zoom in. And I'm going to take off the exposure from the little orange and the, the line. And then I'm gonna go back to brush and I'm gonna click on saturation. And then we're going to just up the saturation with this. So it's gonna kind of give it back that bright color. A Little bit on the line too. Of course, it's not gonna be the exact same color that I have in person, but it is going to make that image a little bit more noticeable. So the next thing that we can do is we are going to make this background right here completely solid white. So there's a couple different ways that I do this. I do this one by going back to that selective and I'll just go all the way to the right for the brightness. And then I'll go back to selective and I'll just try to do the corners. This sometimes doesn't work depending on what the image looks like. So sometimes it can completely wash out whatever image it's close to. So you have to be really careful with that. But I will just go in with the brush of exposure, turn it all the way up to 1.0 and then just go in. It works as an eraser. So you're just going in to these edges and brightening it up. Okay, just like that, just going around the corners, making sure everything's bright. So as you guys can see, I'll do kind of a before and after. So this was before, this is after. So it's just brightening everything up. So now that the background is white, um, I really, really love contrast. And I think that's why I really love having the black jars with a white background. So what I'm gonna show you guys is how I make the jars a little bit darker. So I go in and I do a minus three, sometimes minus seven, depending. And I'm just gonna go in and make sure that the jar is completely solid black. So it's almost like just painting it with that color. And sometimes it will get the background right next to it a little bit darker, but that's okay. And I'm just pinching in with two fingers. So this is two fingers and then use one finger to use the tool. So two fingers to zoom out, two fingers to zoom in, and then one to use the tool. So that to me is ready to edit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys over to Lightroom and that will show you guys exactly what filters that I use to uh, make it a little bit different. So sometimes I will keep it looking like this. Other times I'll want to change it up and add a preset or filters to it. So I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you guys what I do. So now we are opened in the Lightroom app and this is free. You can use it for free and um, you're able to use all of these features. So you're able to change up the lighting yourself, the color, different effects. 
Um, but what I like to do a lot of the time is use presets. Now, what presets are is these are basically filters that you put on the on your photos, and it makes it a little bit more cohesive if you're trying to get a very similar look. So you can find presets on multiple multiple different websites. They're everywhere now. So with this, we're gonna go to we're going to click on presets, and these are the few that I have. So I have this one, which is Emily Leah. She's a YouTuber, and um, I bought one of her presets. So that's what that looks like. Like, and I actually really love the way that looks. Um, so that is one of them. We can exit out of that. Um, these are the other presets that I use quite frequently. So this is Bright Lifestyle, and this makes everything a lot more bright. I'm just going to walk you guys through. So sometimes the, the look of it won't be quite right. So for instance, on here, I don't like the way that that looks, so I wouldn't choose that. But I still, on a lot of the photos, I'll just go through and I'll click on them just to see if I like them. So none of those really stood up to me. So I'm gonna to go to Bohemian Dream. And I really like using these ones for my product photos. This one specifically, I really like the way that this one looks. And so what I'm going to show you guys now is I'm gonna click on this and you can leave it like this or because the background, it grayed the background a little bit. And sometimes on my Instagram, I forget to go back and brighten it back up because I love like the completely pure white background. So what you can do from there is you can export it. It's gonna save to your camera roll. And then I'm gonna open this back up in Snapseed. Now we're back in Snapseed. And um, as you can see the background, it was grayed out a little bit by the filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back around and just brighten up the edges to make it white again. And there you have it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video, just watching me um, from start to finish, how I take and edit my product photos, um, even for Instagram, all of my photography that I use for my candles. Also, I will be leaving links in the description box below, just showing you guys um, the products that you can use, products that you can get from Amazon. Um, so I'll be leaving that below, as well as check out my Etsy shop if you guys haven't already. There's a link to that shop as well. And use the code YouTube20 for 20% off. If you guys see anything that you like, but don't forget to like today's video as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at memory. Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.